in the opposite oh, slot. Number 10, Gabby, the captain, going through the outside. Number 13, Amanda, gets a start through the outside. And number 20, Anna Patrice, is the other middle blocker. And 19, Leia, will be the Libero. 26, Natalia, also available to be selected. Expect to see Roberta, Tayanara, Lorena and Meani make appearances on court during the game. For Bulgaria, well, Ivan Petkov has made one change from the last match that they played in. Other than that, it's a pretty strong lineup for Bulgaria, starting with Gregana Dimitrova, number one, going through the outside. It's Nasia Dimitrova, number two, going through the middle, no relation. Number four, Merla Dancheva is in the opposite slot. Number seven, Laura Kidipova, the captain, is setting. Number 10, Mina Todorova is going through the middle. And it's number 18, Silvana Chasheva, who will be the starting outside hitter. And the starting libero, Jana Todorova, number 15. Also, Silvia Andrieva, 25, to choose from. And expect to see number eight, Balakova, come in. And uh, for that matter, Paskova as well, number six, who is on the bench for this one. This is how the teams are lining up. Brazil first. And it'll be Paula at position four in the front row, Mara at three, Gabby at two. Macris, the setter, starting at position one in the backcourt and will be serving. Bulgaria, well, they're lining up with... Uh, Dimitrova at position three and the setter, Gitapova, is actually at position five. This is tactical for Bulgaria. They've looked at how uh, Brazil line up, which is exactly the same as they lined up in their previous match. So they will have looked to try and get some mismatches in their favour as the rotations move around. Second referees check the rotations, check that everyone's where they should be to start with. The bros are in, we're ready to go. It's Brazil in yellow serving Bulgaria in all green receiving. This is the uh, final match from week two of the Volleyball Nations League here in Appledorn. And first point goes the way of Bulgaria. Dan Chaver to serve. Good up by Todorova. James just had to check her runs and couldn't get full force through the ball. And it's Mara who rattles that one off the block and out. Back Chris Keen to use the middle in transition. He's established Mara early. Gabby with the serve. Forced error from Bulgaria. Unforced errors are those where the team either serves the ball in the net or out, or has a swing and attack and misses the court or hits the ball in the net. Generally class those as unforced errors if you uh, miss a dig or dig it out or you shank a serve. They're not unforced errors, they've been forced on you by the opposition, by the ball generally go down as uh, positive actions for the other team. Nice swing from Paola. Matt Chris ready for that one. But not ready for that one. Although she didn't uh, have much of a chance to get it because as Paula had the swing, she then backed off and went into Macris, who was trying to get round her to dig the ball. Petrova to serve. That's a good jump serve on her. That's well passed by Gabby. And even though Gabby's on the floor, is not able to have a, a swing from the back row. Such a good pass that Macris is able to release Mara through the middle.
touch. And that's well worked. That's what you want from a player who's travelling inside. Take that ball and move it inside. Work the fringes of the block. Paula didn't try and hit this one back away from her body to the line. And very well. Twenty-five bounces Mara has. And if you don't believe me, count them next time. And forced error from Bulgaria. Everyone has a pre-serve routine. If you don't have one, if you're new to volleyball and kind of working out what you need to do and how you need to do it, you need to have a pre-serve routine. Once you have your serving instruction, you have your pre-serve routine, which then gets you in the zone to uh, serve that ball. Aras has hers. Everybody's is different. Good swing, Chasheva off the block and away. Dimitrova. Well, that's a good dig by Leia. They'll be having to swing on the 50, but there's a better chance now for Brazil. Three front court attackers available. Good up by Dancheva. Bit of a scrappy rally. It continues. And it is an error that finishes it off. Paula not getting control of that ball. That's a really good pick-up by Leia for the highlight of that rally. Look at that. If you've been following the volleyball from Appledorn this week and you've been watching all the games, you will have heard me say it, but it's worth saying again if you haven't. Everyone's in the three-metre line. Leia's not because she was on the floor. That's not how you cover in volleyball. The ideal way to be covering when someone's having an attack, you certainly want somebody directly behind you when you're hitting on the wings. And then someone's deep. You layer your cover a bit like an onion is layered. And so you've got rings around the attacker that can then pick the ball up if it hits the block. Well watched by Leia. And clever from Anna Patrice. We're into the first technical timeout. Brazil lead by three. Hasn't really taken off just yet, but certainly Brazil into a better rhythm than Bulgaria. Bulgaria have been or oh, have made too many errors, which is why Brazil have the lead. And Chris was uh, kneeling down like that to create that time so she could send the ball out to Anna Patrice. Talk about ways to create time in volleyball. And there's uh, one, one of the equations that is often used in space is height equals time. If you dig the ball nice and high, if you pass the ball nice and high, everyone's got time to get into position. However, if you play like Japan play, they are very precise. They prefer to play a flatter ball in where they can, which means there's less time, so the players are really, really quick to get to position to then move in and, and uh, make it their attack. Whereas what you really want to do nice high ball like that, and on the peak of the ball, everyone starts to move, and all four players were moving then against Brazil, and it is that movement then that causes the issues because you've got, as a blocker, someone running at you, you've got to be aware of that. Nice ball from Gabby. Oh, that's a good swing from Paula. 
right into the corner. Kitty Piper just getting out of the way of it. She thought it was going to be going out. Covering by Lea. That time the cover was deeper for Brazil. That was unfortunate. Kitty Pover ended up playing that ball. Only defending on the right side of court. So Bulgaria have made a change. And uh, it's uh, Miroslava Paskova who's come in to replace Dan Chaver in the opposite slot. No impact from her, though, as that ball didn't come off the block. Bulgaria well, called timeout. So far, it says that the opponent's errors are three, so Brazil have been given three points by Bulgaria, and just the one point Brazil have given. Bulgaria themselves, and that was the swing from Paula that she missed going cross court from the right side of court. Well, that was a shame because Dimitrova had that, then told her over, not realizing she was there. Took it away from her. That's what happens when it gets congested in there like that. Excellent block from Anna Patrice. Third serve now for Amanda. Second error from Brazil. Dig from there. Well watched by Chelsheva. Oh, that's a top dig from Gabby. Just see how fast and hard the ball is hit when it goes cross court like that. that time the block slowing it down. Good opportunity now for Bulgaria, but Chelsheva has stood on the three meter line as she's gone to attack that. It's an illegal attack. Brazil's persistence pays off. That was a top dig from Gabby. serving line. Oh, well watched by Gabby. Jim Shaver made the dig, it was just too close to the net. And a gift for Gabby. And Chris to serve.
Well watched by Todorova. Sana with a good dig. And a nice play from Dimitrova. Leia made the moves. No reason why she shouldn't have carried on to play that. Number 19 in blue for Bulgaria. If you watch her, the position five where she's defending at the moment. That, she's made that move, but she's been put off because Macris has gone in to make a set and thinking about the next touch instead of the one that needed to be made. Oh, what a swing that is from Paola. Top ball from Zana Todorova. That'll stay in play, will it? Not quite. Macris just turning away to defend herself. So the shoulder hang. The stats will tell you now that that's a three-point pass because the middle was run. But that was just about all Macris could do on that ball. Really well played, mind, to get it to Mara. And we're into the second technical timeout now. Brazil leading by six. Oh, we previewed Anna Patrice at the beginning of this match. She's had a solid start to this first set with a couple of points. Given the opportunity to put the ball away, has taken them. Excellent blocking. Good finishing. She's very good at that slide behind, one of the best in the world at it. Mara. Well left. Always tricky those ones. Close to the baseline. At this level, though, the players know instantaneously, make their mind up instantaneously as to whether they believe it will be in or out. Good dig from Gabby. Well, that's well played. Shasheva got a decent touch on that. And then Anna Patrizio probably wanted that ball first time round because the block didn't go with her. Gets it second time round and puts it on the floor. Pick up from Gabby to bring about the opportunity. And once they got the free ball back, it was Anna Patrizio on the B quicker shoot to the middle to find the gap between the two blockers. A couple of substitutions being made. Julia B's coming in. And so to Roberta. Roberta will be in to set Julia B in as an opposite player. Oh, it's a great serve from Roberta, getting the better of Chasheva. Area call a timeout.
That one's going to land in court. Good blocking again from Brazil. by Chasheva. Such a high roof here at the Omni Sport. Really touched the lights, but it's kept in play and an unforced error from Bulgaria. Brings another point for Brazil. And Bulgaria done so well, they got it back into transition. Tarova missing that line. It's a very big lead now for Brazil, this first set has gone very quickly. And it's gone away from Bulgaria, just as that ball has from Chasheva. Another change, Taylor has come on. And Amanda's gone off for Brazil. That's nice, much better. Chasheva with one on one. Make sure that that one gets put down. What a wonderful Bulgaria. Touch, totter over. Oh, goodness me. Kida Piper wanted to play it. Timmy Trover also wanted to play it. Great platform from Lair. Touch by Todorov. Confusion for Kida Piper and Dimitrova. Work by Tainara. And there's a first swing for Julia B. She's trying to miss the block. You don't need to miss the block. The block's there to be taken on. The block's there and can be your best friend. And another classic of hitting that ball at three o'clock as if it was a clock face and sending it wide of the line instead of hitting right through it, through the middle of it. Roberta's back row, can't go up and block it, can't go up and help it over. Nice play, and the trees in and ready. And Brazil now just a couple away from taking the set. Set point now then for Brazil. It'll stay in play, great work from Todorova. And that ball's onto the baseline. Well, that's a, a way to save set point. Oh, 
more trouble for Brazil. And Bulgaria getting a little bit of rhythm now, some momentum they can take forward into the next set. Brazil has switched off. Julia B. Doug. Gets another swing. And I guess time gets blocked. Julia Bergman is six foot five and uh, gave up her career in the development program. Has gone to Georgia Tech on the NCAA. Struggling a little bit here against Bulgaria. One side out required for Brazil to take this set. Bulgaria getting some really good momentum here, despite the fact they should lose this set, given the situation they find themselves in. And Gabby wraps it all up, she takes the points, and Brazil take the set 25-18 to lead 1-0. But in the end, Brazil got themselves over the line. They had a big lead, didn't let it slip. Here are the highlights from the first set. Time then for some statistics from that first set. Five each in opponent errors, two aces for Brazil. Four blocks for Bulgaria, but Brazil out attacking Bulgaria, 16 points to eight. Too many inconsistencies for Bulgaria, passing not up to an acceptable standard really to put enough pressure on Brazil. Brazil guilty of falling asleep towards the end of that set, thinking the job was done. Interesting to see how this second set develops. The same six are uh, chatting along with Leia. That started the first set. Someone seeing themselves on the big screen. to do now is as good as time as any to start doing it second set we're back to get underway here at the Omni Sport in Appledorn
It's a little bit too high for Chasheva to have a swing on. Same situation for Gabby. Free ball back to Bulgaria. Punished by Dimitrova. That's all that Gabby could do is to put it over, at least try and make Bulgaria play again, which they did. And then use the block well. Moscova with the serve. Gets a reprieve from a substitution in the first set. Normally start the match was uh, not on but brought on for uh, the Chaver in the opposite slot has kept her position on court for this second set. That's a big advantage that Brazil have through the middle with Mara, with Mara and Anna Patrice. And they'll look to exploit that as much as they can. It's a very good dig initially, but then Macris goes to the middle in transition. And it's too good for Bulgaria. Dig from Mara. Relatively simple point for Brazil. Those of you who are kind of new to the sport and hearing a few technical terms and wondering what they might be, a talk about uh, we talk about transition in volleyball. And if you're watching the USA play and you, and you hear Kaj Kirai talk, the head coach, he just says trans. And what that means is you're transitioning the ball from defense into attack. And right now, this is what's something that Brazil will try to do. They're in defense mode here. They're trying to defend this attack from Bulgaria, which they're unable to do, so Bulgaria take the point. Had the dig been made and it gone up into the air, then Brazil would have been in transition, transitioning from defense, and now would have been in attack. And it's a very good swing from Dimitrova, who now has the serve. Jump serve to come from her. Forced error from Paula. It's always difficult coming into a national team with such a, a rich history in the sport competing at the highest level. You look at Paolo, who's into the squad now and is filling the shoes of uh, it was, uh, Sheila Castro and Faye in the opposite slot. Now she's the mainstay for Brazil. <laughs> Blocking from Amanda. There's always an expectation when you put on the national team shirt to play your best, but when you're putting on a national team shirt for Brazil, the expectations are you go out and you win. That's well left. Interesting fact for Bra in Brazilian volleyball for the national teams, those players that have won an Olympic gold medal get to ride first class on the aeroplane. Those that haven't, to go in coach class. Touch from there. Good play. Chasheva gets that off the block and away. Bulgaria playing a lot better than they did in the first set. That's lovely. That's brilliant volleyball from Brazil. Just watch the way the attackers move around uh, Matt Chris, and then that opens up the space for Paula to come on that pipe. Yeah. 
tough serve from Amanda. Going after Dimitrova, who's the front court swing hitter. A tender common practice. In fact, it was Chalsheva. Common practice in volleyball is to serve the front court passing hitter. They have double the work to do. They've got to pass that ball in, then get themselves in a good position to hit. Dimitrova taking it away from Chalsheva so she could go and have the swing. Oh dear. That was a complete mishit from Gabby. Looking for block out, but not getting the right contact with her hand on the ball. Peripheral vision is uh, a hugely important tool to use in volleyball. If you're the setter, you're using your peripheral vision to pick up any movement from the block at the net when you're coming in. Also, you're using your peripheral vision if you've got the right body position to see the attackers coming behind you and where they're moving. As we head into the uh, technical timeout, Brazil leading by three. And as a spiker, you use your peripheral vision to see the block whilst you're looking at the ball. Zana Todorova, she's battling well in what is a losing cause so far. But a player that is making a real name for herself as a libro in the world of volleyball and destined, surely, for great things and possibly moves to clubs in Italy or Turkey. That's where the money is in volleyball. She's 22 years of age. Ball in. Unfortunately, Mina Todorova just got a little bit in front of the ball. If the setter's off the net slightly and you're the middle hitter, you need to still take off from behind the setter, ideally, so you're still travelling into the ball. It doesn't matter if you hit the ball a metre off the net. Certainly in the men's game, they'll hit the ball from three metres off the net and still hit it quickly. But if you get in front of the setter, good leave from Todorova. If, as a middle player, you get in front of the setter and the setter's then behind you, you try and open up to hit that ball, you're going to almost have your back to the net. It becomes really difficult to find the angles that you need to then put the ball on the floor. Chasheva now with the serve for Bulgaria. Good touch, Todorova. Excellent point for Bulgaria. Paskova fires that one away from the right side of court. Very nice swing, found the gap in the block. A big chance Shaver to serve again. That was really well played. It looked, didn't it, as if the ball was going to go to Gabby. Such was the movement that was going on. Just look at how 10 and 1 get in position, and there's that pressure. And Pascova doesn't know where to go, can't help out in the middle. And then Mara's got the space to put the ball away. Todorova comes back with a good swing. Bulgaria running their middle. Such was the quality of the pass. not made the baseline but it's off the block so Bulgaria will take the point lovely no answer at all to that 
almost a zero tempo up before the ball has left the hands of Macris, and then there's just no time for the opposition to do anything about that ball. It's already been hit. Well left, Chasheva getting the call, Dimitrova and uh, Todorova working together to make sure that they had that ball sorted. It is a passing unit. You already identify what areas of the court you're taking based on where the server is looking and where they are serving from. And then an early call as to who's going to take the ball always helps. Amanda fires that one away cross court with ease. All on her own, quick ball out wide. And the middle can't get out to help. Use of the block by Dimitrova. Bulgaria are uh, hanging in there quite comfortably at the moment in this second set, just one behind. Although, it has to be said that Brazil don't exactly look to be under any real pressure. And that's part of the reason why, because some of the most of the points in that situation that they're getting, there's that. Block out, so it's a really well worked point, bit of frustration for Brazil, but then they get gifted the ball back and haven't had to work for it. So the combined, the, the consistency isn't there for Bulgaria at the moment. Typified by that point. Although well, Bulgaria think that's caught the block. So they're going to challenge it. Having a good old look. Well, I think that's not. Oh, I don't know. See, we, that looks like shadow. It's almost been called as a touch, so Amanda's either going to go crazy or admit to it. And, uh, no, no uh, issues from Brazil, so it did just touch her. It's always difficult with that kind of shot that we get. Fortunately for the challenge team, they have. Uh, Cameras, the camera's being used uh, 200 frames plus per second, so it's a very extremely high definition picture that they can see exactly what's going on. But that one has to be compressed down into the 25 frames for display on the broadcast. And the big monitors, which don't uh, show so great, makes it look a little bit grainy. She's doing very well on the opposite slope for Brazil. Amanda now with her unique pre-serve routine. Oh, not ready for that one. Bulgaria sided out, still staying within a point of Brazil. I do feel that Brazil have got several more gears they can go to. Question is, are they going to go to any of those gears and pull away from Bulgaria? If they just rely on Bulgaria making mistakes, that can be a very high-risk strategy, which may not pay off. Nice swing from Gabby. Side out's not been a real issue for Brazil. Excellent dig. 
from Amanda. Free ball though for Bulgaria. Well, nobody out wide, it's in a good position, so it's Chalsheva who's on the right side, who is the only player really available for the swing. But still not picking that up sufficiently, not seeing that good dig initially from Amanda. A little bit cramped on that side, but very nice set from Kidipova to find Chalsheva. and Brazil take us to the second technical timeout. They lead by two and by one set to nothing. We'll have a look at a couple of the big hitters from Brazil. Paulo, the opposite, is uh, one of those. Available to hit the pipe, hit left side, right side, and then of course Mara through the middle, who is uh, actually middle blocker number two, who has been very, very successful and has done all the work, done all the damage for Brazil through the middle so far. Mara with seven attack points, Anna Beatriz has five. Two of hers are blocked. Mara yet to get a block. Paula has also seven points. Macris is spreading the, the ball around really well, actually. Gabby's got five. Amanda's got three. Dimitrova leading the way for Bulgaria at the moment with nine points. And it's Chasheva who's the next best with five. Askova picked off. And hit hard into the block and wide from Paula once again. Oh, that's a good serve. A little bit of movement on it, Chasheva. Was a little bit off balance, let the ball hit her. Didn't didn't see, wasn't evident that she actually put anything into the ball towards target. So Bulgaria call the timeout. Chris serving and getting an ace. That's brilliant. When you've got three passes, the two areas of conflict are in between them. And this is one of those areas of conflict in that panic channel between 15 and 18. Who's got it? You, me, nobody. It's ace serve for Macris. That time it's on to Chasheva, who's able to deal with it. Dimitrova gets the point. Gabby, number 10 was moving laterally as that ball was being played, couldn't change direction on what was a relatively easy opportunity. Kitipova trying to come off for uh, Barakova, but that's not what's happening. It's a double substitution, so Barakova... But it's not a double, it's actually a serving substitution. So Todorova's gone off, Barakova's come in, that's why Kitipova went, because she thought, oh, I'm being replaced, one like for like. But it's not. Marakova in to serve and play defense. And now <laughs> they almost both went to the same position then. Marakova instinctively going to one where Kidipova was. And Marakova certainly not used to playing six, which means Brazil come up with the point. 
perhaps not the best thought out substitution. You see uh, eight and seven going in the same spot, and then Barakova, that's always going to be her ball, really. She should have been further back behind as the last line of defence. That's nice. One foot Yahoo. Didn't try her on there, quick, but off one foot in front of the setter. Unstoppable through the middle. It's great to watch. Hesitancy from Brazil's defenders it allows Bulgaria to get the point. Oh dear, that one just crept through. When you're receiving serve like that, it's not, you don't volley it like you see the setters volley the ball because the ball is coming at you with force, so it's stiff fingers, and you're attacking the ball with your hands, you're not trying to take anything out of it. Good swing that from Amanda. Absorbing the energy of the ball, and getting out wide to have the hit, classic swing hitting from Amanda. Double substitution, Roberta's coming in to serve, Julia B is uh, going into the front row, is opposite again. Paula and Matt Chris go to the bench for the moment, they'll be hoping it'll be for the rest of the set. Good up from Leia. Not the best of sets from Roberta, and an unforced error from Brazil that gives Bulgaria the point. <laughs> nice swing from Julia B, that's a real confidence booster for her. It's never easy when you get in that situation coming on and that ball's come all the way across court. It seems like an eternity to get to you. And it's not in the best position. You're off the net. That's a great swing. That's also a great swing. Todder over, slides all the way to the pin. It's a real hammer blow on this one. Okay, Gabby's not had that much to do in this game. Still looks like she's not really warmed up. But she'll call the timeout, Bulgaria. Brazil into a false sense of security here. They've got back to within a couple of points. Via na chutada na frente, Gabi na sobreposta, Julia Berta na saída.
Good dig by Kidipova. That was an excellent swing from Julia B in a difficult situation again. Nicely dealt with that by Amanda. Bulgaria scrambling. And coming up with the point. That was lovely. Excellent rally. Bulgaria fighting tooth and nail to get that point. Didn't panic. Julia B with a tip over the top of the block, and it's set point now for Brazil. Tidy side out from Brazil. Big area time, eh? Set point then for Brazil. Anna Patrice with the serve. That ball's hit the floor. Half wall is not allowed. Set point saved. That was an excellent swing from Bulgaria. So this is the only chance Brazil have to win this set from side out. Otherwise, they'll need to score points from serve again. Bit of trouble. But Gabby rescues the situation. And it's Brazil who take the set 25 23. They lead Bulgaria by two sets to nothing here in Appledorn. Much better second set from Bulgaria. They push Brazil all the way, but it's Brazil who took it. Here are the highlights. Bulgaria could well have taken that second set if it wasn't for the unforced errors. At the time, they kind of got themselves into a position where they were putting that pressure on. 
Brazil. They let them off the hook with a missed serve or a ball that was hit out. Third set underway, it's a must-win set now for Bulgaria. And it's a perfect way to start. Todorova through the middle. Nicely done by Gabby, with three blockers moving to get in front of her. She knew there was space over on the left side. Very quickly, you could see just how quick, how, how well, sorry, how Brazil got themselves back in a position. They make the block here, and then they're quickly getting around as Macris comes in for everyone to be available to hit, and that put huge pressure then on Bulgaria's block. Again, good defending from Brazil, and a net touch by Bulgaria as they try to get across the net and stop Paula. It's not looking good for Bulgaria, and so they've called a timeout. Okay. <laughs> Gabby serves again. It was a nice effort from Paskova. The line was available, but she couldn't find it. Have a look and see whether she's hit through the ball or hit to the side of the ball. You can see she's hit across the ball, which has given it that spin away from the line. That one's also missed the line. the block. Bulgaria have the ball, Paskova will serve. And a big hit from Paula. She's proving to be 
extremely difficult to stop at the moment. Look at that space through the middle, which is what the purpose of that movement was from Bulgaria. Nice dig for Dimitrova. And with Macris having to take it, no recognised set of putting the ball up. And have Bulgaria got a chance for a swing? They have Chalsheva, but she can't get past the block. Anna Matrice and Amanda and Paula denying her. There's a monster block. <laughs> Paolo with the serve. Oh, that's close, it's in, right in the corner. Brilliant. Now that is sometimes referred to, I guess, lucky, but it wouldn't be the the phrase that you want to use, that's called a one in ten serve. If Paula served there another ten times, it wouldn't go in that spot another nine times. So it's not something that you need to be overly worried about. The crew here, DJ Oleg getting the going and uh, asking the Brazilian fans to do some Brazilian dancing. And they are duly obliging. Why not? Their team are winning. Bringing some samba to Appledorn. And they are loving the volleyball here in the Netherlands. it will be to serve five point lead now for Brazil in this third set make that six and Todorova is beaten she's trying to cover and help Chalshevo didn't really want to pass the ball Chalshevo let that go pretty late always gonna be difficult for Todorova In a match like this, when you're Brazil playing Bulgaria and you have this lead, the number one thing that you have to do is keep respecting your opponents by playing your best volleyball. The minute you don't respect them, the minute you start to mess around, the minute you start not to lose your focus is the second that you will be in trouble. And even if you go into a game knowing that you're better than the team that you're playing, you still have to give them the utmost respect by playing your best volleyball. That's a great pickup from Pashkova. Good effort from Paola. Gavi just puts it back into play. Brazil's reset their block defence. Dimitrova finds a way through, though. And Bulgaria take the point. couldn't stop. Great touch against Bulgaria is a late call. A call nonetheless not argued with by Bulgaria. Or is it? Well it is, they are arguing it. We had an incident earlier on where there was a net touch challenge. 
when it was against the Netherlands. And then when it was shown on replay, in fact, they're going for a block touch, the net touch challenge we saw, when it went to replay, it showed that the uh, player's hair had hit the net. And uh, that's not a fault. It's the only part of the body that can touch the net and it not be a fault. Well, that looked like the second referee had um, called for a net touch against Bulgaria, from certainly from what he was pointing at. The challenge we've just been shown is for a block touch. Paulo now has got 14 points for Brazil. And Dimitrova for Bulgaria has 13. <laughs> Dimitrova just seen herself on the big screen, she did. So Chelsea also seeing herself. Funny how people react to seeing themselves on telly, even though they know they're on the telly, there's, there's nine, ten cameras on them. A little bit of a, a delay here. Points scored so far, Brazil have got 59, and Bulgaria have 45. But it isn't the total number of points come the end that decide the winner and the loser. You could end up with more points, but still lose the match. Depending on how the set scores went. Right now, though, Brazil with a, a healthy lead. Five points better off. Two sets to nothing. As well, players now just want to get on with this, don't they? <laughs> and to ever leading the uh, the subs bench in a bit of movement to stay warm, and it's good to see as well the crowd getting right behind the teams here, creating their own entertainment while we wait for the outcome of the challenge. This has got to be the longest we've ever waited. And once again, the uh, Entertainment crew here in Appledore have done a sterling job in keeping the fans quite literally entertained. Umar is unusually quiet. He knows though that he's on the thin ice. If he says anything, he'll get a card after his uh, actions in the previous match. Referee having a chat with the challenge referee just to get a decision here. And she's not getting what she wants, is she? And neither are we, because what do we want? We want volleyball, and when do we want it? Well, we want it now. Well, here we go. Well, there's no net touch. Oh, was there? What was that? The net touch was what was the, the call was. There was a net touch there, but was that outside the antenna? Oh, it was an elbow, there we go. So now we know what it was. It was just at the bottom of the picture we could see. So as the player came down, caught the net with their elbow, we got there in the end. And so Brazil will serve. The score remains as is, 10-5. And the game resumes. Every time Amanda has that pre-serve routine, it looks like she's going to lose control of the ball on that third or fourth bounce she has. Gabby's made the error, she's hit the ball into the antenna. And Bulgaria will have the point. The red and white poles that you can see are an extension of the sideline that go up vertically and uh, infinitely. The ball must travel between the antenna. It 
goes over the top outside or hits it. It's deemed to be out of play. No issues with that side out from Gabby. This time working the block. And of the trees to serve. up from Paola. That one has hit the floor. Despite the best attempts of Paskova to slide her hand under the ball. The ball has hit the floor. Brazil take the point. Todorova has gone to the bench and uh, Krivoshishka is now on, number 20. One middle for another, and a tree serving. <laughs> what a solid side out for Bulgaria. being reduced to that at the moment, plus the odd error that Brazil give them. That was lovely from Brazil, another thumping middle attack. Absolutely no time at all for Bulgaria's block to react. Balls down before players left the floor, brilliant. Macris. It's always a worry when you're a team that's celebrating the other team's errors. That's what you're trying to build your momentum from and confidence from. And that's a very shaky position to do it from. Against Brazil, you're going to have little opportunity to do that. You really just want to celebrate your good plays which is what Brazil are doing. It's a very good uh, means to understand how volleyball works. If you're celebrating and getting into what you're, you're doing well, instead of what the other team are doing badly, that's the best mindset to have, the best way to build momentum, the best way to work together as a team, because you're then not hoping for the other team to make errors in order for you to have something to celebrate. Dimitrova didn't really see where that went after it came off her hands. Very difficult to keep your eyes open when the attacker is hitting the ball at you. Instinctively, you want to close your eyes. That's what Dimitrova's done. Didn't see the ball. Paula and Brazil take the point. Kilipova's gone off, Barakova's come on now, number eight setting for Bulgaria. That was unlucky, could have came back into play, Bulgaria will have the point. Not showing any signs of making any inroads into the deficit they currently have against Brazil. Second technical timeouts upon us. Brazil with a big lead in this third set. has been the top scorer so far in this match. 16 points from her, 14 in attack, and she's got two aces. And here are some of her best moments so far. She's got a unique style, really kind of pikes through the ball to generate that power. See some players try and stretch their shoulders away from their hips, and her shoulders come towards her hips when she hits. Confirmation of those stats. 14 spikes, two aces, 16 points in all. 
a good haul so far for Paula. So like for like replacement for Brazil out of your picture, Roberta has come on and Macris has gone off. One setter for another. Mara with the serve. Oh dear. There's no time for courtesy in a rally. That's what Brazil was showing here. After you, no, after you. Too late. Good touch by Pescova. And a great swing by Chasheva. Not sure how much Pascova knew about that, but what was really important about that dig from Pascova was she keeps her shoulders facing back towards the net. Didn't let herself get turned, and the ball came back into play, and Bulgaria able to get the point. <laughs> Not finding hands. Brazil with poker faces. Not even showing any sign it might have touched them giving Bulgaria any glint that they should challenge. And they don't. Mola will serve. Brazil now with a six-point lead. Top ball in from Todorova. Bit of Eastern European defence from Gabby with the straight legs and getting her hands to the floor. Lovely. Just some flashes of brilliance from Bulgaria. Showing some of their abilities to play at the highest level. It's just the consistency for them to keep doing it that they're lacking at the moment. All the hard work undone with that unforced error. Yeah, we think it may have caught some hands, so they're challenging for a block touch. Now let's hope it doesn't take as long as the last one did. When you have got a big block against you and you know you can't put the ball on the floor, then the next best thing is to try and go off of the hands. Well, that hasn't caught the hands at all. And a little change, you can see Anna Trees was blocking out wide and Roberta was in the middle. That was due to where they ended up in that transition play. So Roberta stepping in to block through the middle. Amanda ready to serve. touch It'll be a free ball here for Bulgaria two front court attackers plus the pipe Chasheva she slowed down so advantage now with Brazil good dig by Dimitrova oh what a pickup that is from Roberta it looked like it was going to hit the floor and still it's in play this is an excellent rally might be a contender for a mega rally brilliant from Paula Ends on a positive note as well. That was lovely to watch. It is indeed a mega rally. They had some great digs, some really good reactionary pickups. Both teams trying to get in good positions to have an attack. That was really well played by Roberta. And then a fabulous swing from Paolo to finish it off.
Brilliant stuff. once again totter over watching it like a hawk knew it was going out from Anna Batrice, uh, really knocks Barakova over. Brings up the 20 points now for Brazil. And for Anna Batrice, it's her fourth attack point. She's had three blocks, best blocker of anyone in this match. getting in on the act that's her first block of the match overall hard to believe isn't it but all of her points have come in attack apart from this one in fact she didn't even get that it was Roberta Roberta oh do you know what I'd go for a net touch I'd challenge that because Mara touched the net then well, easy for us to see with the numerous slow-mos in real time Difficult to spot. Bit of trouble here for Brazil. And it's a point for Bulgaria. Are they on the comeback trail? Manchasheva, it's free ball for Brazil, and unsurprisingly, it goes to the middle. Mara puts it down. Nothing at all that uh, Krivo Shishkaya could do to stop it. Committed on Mara. She was Mara was straight over the top. Teaching beginners and teaching youngsters to play volleyball, one of the things that is very important is what comes past your ear. It should be your elbow comes past your ear when you're contacting the ball and not your hand. And if you instill that into the players and they know they're going to be contacting the ball at the highest point possible, generally when mistakes occur of the nature of the ball in the net, because the hand contact isn't high enough or the player's got their shoulders in front of their hips. So each means that you lose height when contacting the ball. Krivo Shishkaya with the serve. Bulgaria coming back into this set, but it might be too little too late for them. Oh, what a swing that is from Paula. She's been hitting the ball harder and harder and harder. Every time she's gone up, it is a super spike. It's not always easy to have it and see it when you're watching it on TV. But you could really feel it from the real-time swing. That'll do. For Bulgaria. 
Amanda's gone off and Julia Bergman's come in. Number six for uh, Brazil. It's gone wide. But it caught the block. didn't catch the block Brazil now just two away from victory here in Appledorn Tenara's going to come in for her first uh, go on court she replaces Paola, who's had an excellent match. 18 points for Paola, her job is done. Mara now with the serve. Tainara looking to finish things off at the net she can for her country. That was a good touch by Anna Matrice. Julia B, just a continuation hit. Might be a better chance now. Oh, that's nicely done, Tainara with her first swing of the match. Showing that she is up to match speed. She brings up match point. Brazil on the verge of a 3-0 victory here against, against uh, Bulgaria. And that's it, it's an ace serve for Brazil from Mara. They take the set 25-18 and Brazil have beaten Bulgaria in straight sets here in Appledorn. Bulgaria not quite the banana skin they were hoping they would be for Brazil. Didn't get off to the best start in the first set. Their second set was by far the better, taking Brazil 21-23 before they let it slip 25-23. And then Brazil got full control once again in the third set. The set scores 25-18, 25-23, 25-18. It's a two and one record for them. Beating the Netherlands, losing to Poland, beating Bulgaria. But Bulgaria, they're still winless in the VNL, but improving all the time. A chance for Amanda to go and uh, have a chat with the fans. A job well done by Amanda and co, and this is how it was done from the serving line by Mara. Jump float, swerving away from Pashkova. And then Dimitrova couldn't help her out. And that was the end of that. So here are the results from around the world here on uh, week two in Belgium beats Thailand in China and China then beat Korea all that happening in Macau and in uh, Conegliano the Dominican Republic have beat the USA 3-2 and Serbia currently 1-0 up against Italy it's all concluded here in Appledore Poland beat the Netherlands 3-1 Brazil as we've just seen have beat Bulgaria 3-0 and it's all over in Turkey